You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Glitzy Globes Glitzy Showcase. I have no idea what it's all about, so I'm going to learn as I go through the process. It looks like you get this whole set here, but I'm not sure. It says, make it, fill it, shake it. It's from Moose Toys. We have a happy girl here. It looks like she's spinning the center one, so we'll see what that's all about. There's the one side, and there's the other side. Really nothing on there. And a reappearance of the happy girl, and I want to be happy too. So I can't wait to get this out of the box, see what it's all about. List all the contents here, and then other themes. And there's a website, glitzyglobes.com. So right now, I think it's a matter of uh, getting in the box and seeing all the pieces. So let's do that. So uh, this is one of those multi-tape and different spot boxes. So looks like I'm going to have to be a little more aggressive on the box. Huh? There we go. That did it. And the rest doesn't come apart. So now we have to get in from the bottom. Why do I leave the box opening in here? I don't know. Some people say you should edit that out. It's kind of like interesting to watch me struggle. Because I know parents, other parents do the same thing. But I usually try to save the box. So maybe that's different. I'll just Kids will just rip it completely apart. Which is more fun, I guess. And then a couple more things in that top piece. Which looks like it opens on its own. There we go. Yes, uh, this looks like it, uh, it's got a little tie on it. And then all the supplies are in here. There we go, I can get it out. Ooh, this looks like there's a lot of stuff. Look at all the stuff. Where's the instructions? Where's the instructions for the stuff? Ah, I just want to grab that real quick. If I can get an idea. Oh, oh, all kinds of noises here. Let's just see. Instruction booklet. All right. Oh, making a mini glitzy globe. Hmm, making a mega glitzy globe. How about unpacking and setting up the set? Don't see it. So I'm going to have to learn that. Let me uh, at least get it all out of the plastic, get a little organized here, and then we'll uh, go on to the next step. Okay, so we're all back. I have everything out of the packaging so you can kind of see it on the table. These are the tablets. I didn't open them yet, so I have those. They're uh, ready to go. And then you have these mini little jewels that you would put inside the globe, so I'll move that out of the way. Because we're going to start with making the mini globes. Now, what you saw on the outside of the box and the instructions with all these different globes, that's not included. You only get the four with this set. And then here is the actual globe maker, and that gets stored right there. Now in the back here is the carousel with three special characters. I'm gonna move them out because we're gonna do that last. I'll set those off to the side here, and we'll see those in more detail later. And you also need this as the center post for that set. And then here is our filler bottle and our mini characters. So why don't we, uh, get the instructions set here. The first thing they say to do is rest a clear dome inside the globe maker base with the opening facing up and drop in three shapes. They call them deco shapes. So let's get this going here. And then we need to fill this with water so I'm gonna do that also. Now, it doesn't take a full bottle for these, but I'm going to fill it up anyway so I have it. A little spill there, but that's okay. We live through these things. Let's get these guys here. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. So, clear base. Let's get these all out of the way. Upside down. In there. Okay. Get you a little closer here. And then it said three of the um, little ones, little jewels. I call them jewels. One, 
two, and three. And it says, use your bottle to fill your clear dome to the very top. Any excess water will collect in the globe maker base. So there's a little, like a valley in here, will hold the extra water. So let's just, uh, let's fill it up. Clear to the top. Okay, so next is uh, drop one tablet in. So let me open the tablets and show you those. Ooh, shot across. It's sealed pretty good. It looked like this was vacuum sealed, so it's really tight around the packaging. Let me cut it a little bit more. There we go. Now we can cut it. Okay. So the mini tablet. See, there's two different sizes here. Let me just zoom this out a little bit. Wow, they sure make this one hard to get into. That was a challenge. We'll let those two fall out. Ooh, we put those back in. It was three. Okay, wow. So I'm going to put now one tablet in there. All right. They call it a glitter pellet. So it says plug a base into it. So we're doing the purple one. And then get the character you want to put in there. I think I'm going to put my yellow one in the purple. So you just, looks like you just pin them to the top there. And then uh, put that onto here. Then it says uh, pop, okay, then plug it in as, then plug it on as shown, which we did. And then the next step, oh, I got to flip the book here. Flip it over and press. It says press down firmly, open the lid, and remove your finished glitzy globe. Ooh, look at that. Now there's this uh, bottom base. See that in there? So now I guess eventually that's going to start to uh, dissolve. Alright, so now there's a bottom base here which you can stick it onto. And there you go. Now I can put one of these on it. Like that. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to set that one in the back. We're going to let that dissolve a little. And then uh, we'll start another one. All right, so now I can make another one that I have the system down now, so it should be easier for me. And I know what I'm doing. And the package of the pellets is open. So let's just see. So three little pieces in there. Fill it to the top with water. I wonder how long it takes to dissolve. It doesn't really, st didn't notice that anywhere. Here, let's go take a look back at it here. Okay, it's starting to dissolve pretty good back there. Pretty neat. I'll show these in more detail, but look, it's starting to break apart. All right, so that one's set. So now one tablet. Oh, don't struggle with me now. Tell you what, I got another bowl here. I'm just gonna dump those out. It's easier. These are much bigger chunks. This is probably for the uh, the carousel. And then I've got the yellow and orange, so I think I want to put blue in this one.
Come on, sit. Sit. Gotta push real hard on that one. Put it on here. Okay, so let me uh, get you nice and zoomed in on that. So now I just flip it over and press. Not sure what that sound was, but we'll see. There you go. Oh, lost one of the jewels, see? One of the jewels fell out. That's okay. There we go. Press better. All right, so let's stick this one on and just let it... Uh... Oh, sorry. I guess you could do that too. It looked like it fit. So I'll let this one now start to work in the back. I'm going to dump some of this water out. It said right to the top, but maybe right to the top is not the best. And then three more. Okay. And the water. I don't want to go over the edge. How's that? Okay. I'm getting it now. You understanding the process? for making glitzy globes now it's easier and you can just keep making them there you go and it presses it nice the last one wasn't pressed down all the way it could have just been because of the way I had it now this also lets you if you notice there's this opening here and there's these pegs you gotta push down to get it to lock in and then I would twist it just a little so now oh pops out here let me do this maybe it's easier if you go this way put this in first Move this all in here see what's going on well it looks like you gotta yeah push with your finger down first then put your globe in that looks like it's gonna stay now so let's make our fourth one Right, we might as well just finish this and get it all together. And our last three. Ooh, I dropped one in there. Start over. That's a do-over. Okay. Fill it with water. I'm going just a little bit. Take a little water out of there. Ooh, that's a fail again. I feel like it's too much right to the top edge. So guess what? Start over. Do it again. That's what happened last time, I think, when it was too much. It pushed everything out. So I was trying to avoid that. Pellet. And then I'm going to go with the orange one on this. And here we go. Nice. There it is. Cool. So again, just gonna push this on first. Kind of like just lock it into place a little bit there. There we go. Now let's check out some of our earlier ones here. So you should be able to shake it now. Camera's gonna want to focus on everything but this. There we go. Pretty cool. That's a neat little set. So now let's get to the bigger piece here. Get everything in here. I'll tell you what, let me wipe this down, get this cleared out, and uh, set up for the next one. All right, so we got through our first globes. A uh, couple little issues I had there with my water popping out the pieces, but uh, I think overall, 
pretty easy to do. So now this is making a mega glitz globe. It says pop a character onto the pin on each of the three horses backs. So we have three characters left and here they are. So there's one and two and three. Okay. Then it says, uh, plug your three horses onto the spinner base. Here's the spinner base. Let's take a look at that. Okay, you see it's like a half moon. This is also a half moon. So the horses are going this direction. So there we go, get them all the same way. Make sure all of our little characters are facing the same way. I want them facing out so that they're looking out when they're on their horse. All right, so that's step one. And it says, place assembled spinner base onto the mega base plate, which is this, and a pellet in between the horses. Now this is the larger pellet, in between the horses, okay? There we go. Now it says, place the mega dome, oh it didn't tell you, it looks like we're missing a step. It doesn't tell you to put in a center post anywhere. I don't see it. This center post needs to be here. So we'll push that down. Don't miss that step. Okay, then it says place the dome over the mega base plate vertically and press down firmly. All right, I get it. So that looks like it's sealed all the way around. Okay, and it says open camp and use your mega water use your water bottle to fill your mega dome to the very top, which takes around four bottles of water. Spin the spinner to stir up the glitter. So this spins, and there's like a little paddle action in there. See? Okay. Watch the glitter floating. So let's just start. Now I've used some from the first time, so let's just uh, start filling. There's one, part of one. I'm just gonna use their method here. It'll take a little longer for me to fill each bottle. It's hard to see too when I reach the top, so it's gonna spill. All right, here is, ooh, two. little tighter even though I made it tighter it still leaks out of the leaks out of this but we'll dry it all down when we're done here we are playing with water so make sure you're on a surface where you are allowed to have water Ooh, my little glitzy thing went in there did you see that that was the orange one that got popped out oh I hope it doesn't jam up my bottle here let me show you that a little better angle huh as I fill okay so I gotta do one more should be about right they were pretty spot on with the amount there Now my tabletop is okay with water. It just wipes off real easy. It's plastic. All right. And it shoots everywhere. Probably don't need to fill the bottle as high as I do. Then you don't have to worry as much about the water. But there we go. Now I'm watching the top now. Oh, right to the top. Okay, so here is the plug. So where does it say plug? Well, I need to plug it, right? Let's get this out of the way. Looks like you got to get it right on. There you go. Ooh, I put a lot of pressure on that. All right, so before I get started, I'm going to dry this off and then and then show you in more detail. All right, there you go. Nice and clean and dry, real easy to do. Now here's the spinning action. Cool.
Now with these sets, it looks like you could just take them apart. You got extra pellets. So if you want to switch your characters around, it looks like you can. But that's going to take a while to dissolve. So I'm going to leave that one, which goes right in the center of the main unit here. Oh, got to get it on the base. So it also has its own base. Look at that. See that? Or it looks like it can sit in here if it wants. Or maybe just put the whole thing on there. There, we'll do that. That's the way it goes. So let's just take a look at some of the other ones now. This is one pretty dissolved. Looks really nice. I think in the sunlight, this would be really cool. And then this is the purple one. So the ones on the bases now. These haven't fully moved around. Here, take a look. So let me switch them around. Look at that. All right, that's dissolved pretty much. There's still a little chunk floating around in there, but I think you get the idea. Let's do the other one. So we'll set that there, that there. See this one? I think they work pretty good. So now we have the four. And if you want to try to match them all up, they each have a little colored element on the front. Let's get the last one down here so we can show them all. All right, and let's get the one out of our base. Let's just take a look now at the base and see how broken up that element is in the back, the pellet. It's right here, I see it floating. So it's got a, a while yet to go. I'd say overall, still a really neat set. A couple little issues I had, but we overcame and conquered. And if there was more, I think we would make more. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just let this dissolve. Maybe come back and show you that fully dissolved. Well, here's a brief intermission because I just happened to have enough sunlight coming in so we can see this in the sun because I thought that would be neat to see. There's still a little bit left on that tablet that needs to be dissolved, so you'll see that floating around once in a while. There it is. So the faster I spin, the faster they go around. I've been actually kind of going back and forth to get that tab broken down. It's been about a half hour now and it's still not completely dissolved, but I thought before I lost my light, I should show this to you in the sun. Because I think it looks really cool with the glitter. <laughs> How's that? All right, I still have to do a recap, so let me get back to my normal lighting, and then I'll do a recap on the whole set. All right, time for my recap, and I hope you enjoyed that little musical interlude there. Uh, I thought it was uh, kind of neat to have a little music while it was spinning. A couple things I noticed. Um, when I was originally putting these on, the stems here, I was only going to the first notch, and it was kind of wobbling around. So you really can push them in further, and then it stabilizes them more, so you can, you know not have them moving around as much. And then I also noticed that this back section here is where the water bottle goes in, so that sits in that area. And of course this uh, is the uh, maker, so that stays in the front. And then these can clip in in any of the spots. So overall, I'm gonna say it's a pretty cool little set. And you should be able to, you know, take them apart, wash them off and remake them in different uh, arrangements if you want. So I think it's pretty neat. Now I probably won't play any music right now, but I'm just showing you this spinning one more time. Let's see if we can get really close in there and 
see it spinning. It's pretty much all dissolved now. Lots of little air bubbles on them. There we go. Just where I want it. So again, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. You know, I had a couple little glitches on my glitzy globes, but uh, we worked through it, and you know, you'll work through it too. So if you get a chance, check that description for a playlist or search our channel. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.